here you are minding your own business in Photoshop and suddenly you, you see something on your screen, something that just isn't quite right. You zoom in to see what is the problem and you realize your text looks absolutely terrible. Well, if that's the issue that you're having right now, there is four easy ways to make your pixelated, rough, bumpy looking text become smooth again, and I'm gonna show you how. The first problem is very simple, and it's that you're not using anti-aliasing. When you have the type tool selected up in the options bar, you see this option with two A's beside it. If this is set to none, that's going to be a surefire way to get a result that looks like this. As you can see here, it's very pixelated and blocky. So to fix this, even if you've already created your text layer, all you have to do is select your text layer in the layers panel, activate the type tool by pressing T, and then just set the anti-aliasing from normal down here to smooth, and suddenly your issue is solved. Now what if you've tried anti-aliasing, but you still have an issue like you see here? As you can see, my anti-aliasing is set to smooth, but my text still looks super bad. This brings us into our second possible reason that's causing your issues, which is your canvas size is simply too small. This current canvas size is only 500 by 500 pixels, and because I'm so zoomed in, this is really stretching the information that can be displayed on this canvas. If I were to zoom out a bunch, the text suddenly becomes more sharp, but if you're wanting to use this text at a larger scale, this is gonna be a problem. Luckily, you can convert an existing document that's too small, such as this one, into a larger one so that your text looks clean and crisp once again. To do that, just click on your text layer and then go to image and then image size. As you can see, we have a width and height of 500 pixels and a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. I'm gonna set this up to let's say 2000 pixels, and I'm gonna keep the resolution at 300. I'm then gonna make sure the resample option is checked, and I'm going to choose the preserve details 2.0. Now, if I zoom in on the preview here, you might have your reduced noise set to 0%, and there's a bit of noise, I guess, around the letters. So if you just increase this, it'll smooth out that noise and give you a nice crisp piece of text. Now you can go ahead and click OK. That will scale up your canvas. Press Command or Control Zero to fit your canvas to your screen, and now your text is nice and sharp once again. Now the final two reasons are a little bit less common, but something that's worth noting as well. If you zoom in, even after you've done all of these steps, you're almost guaranteed to have this rough, bumpy looking edge on your text. And that's because at a certain point when you're zooming in, there's only so many pixels you can see or there's only so many pixels making up your text. Therefore, when you zoom in really far, it's going to look like this no matter what. However, when you actually zoom out to the size that the text will be displayed in, it's nice and sharp, so therefore you don't really have a problem and I wouldn't worry about it. The final issue is that you've perhaps exported your text already and you realize that it doesn't look quite as crisp in the export as it did in Photoshop and that might be because of your file type. Now when you're working with text or graphics, it's going to be more worthwhile to export as a PNG rather than a JPEG file because a JPEG file is far more compressed and can leave you with a lower quality looking text than if you export it to PNG. To export to PNG, just go to file, save a copy, and then in the format option, just go and choose PNG, and then you can click save. That will export your text in a slightly higher quality than JPEG and hopefully fix your pixelated text issue upon export just by changing over the file format. Now, if one of these four methods helped you to fix your problem, make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're trying to learn Photoshop, make sure to check out my Photoshop Blueprint ebook. It's totally free and you can get access to it down in the description below just by signing up to my email list. It shares six essential tips that I believe everyone should know in Photoshop. And it will certainly help you with other problems that you might encounter in the program. Anyways, my name is Brennan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.